Hey y'all, it's your favorite on. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below to Nightcap YouTube channel so you never miss a single live stream or video of myself, Ocho, and Gil. Remember, Nightcap doesn't happen without you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you. Reports are saying Mike Vrabel didn't work out in Tennessee because he was too large of a human. Diana Rossini reported, I don't think there was a fit for him. I don't think he sat in front of, of any owner who thought of his style was going to work for what they were looking for. I had a GM uh, at the Senior Bowl who mentioned to me Vrabel's physical build, that he's a very large human being, and that can be very intimidating to people in the organization that's going to be a part of these decisions, and that was and that is a factor. What the hell that got to do with it? What, I don't give a damn if he Andre the Giant. Can he win games? Rest your soul, Andre. What the hell is someone physical? Like he was too to big, being and you know, if, you? if they he get mad, he might do something bad to him. He, the type of excuses of the people that run when these organizations. And how would he take you serious? Do you are you do you really no. want to win? Like when you hear stuff like that, you you think about it. Do no. you really want to win games? What part about no? The end or the O did you get? Like, come on! Oh, you, oh, we're intimidated by his size. What? I ain't never. I don't heard a lot, about? Ocho. I don't heard a lot. That's the first time I've ever heard something like that. I ain't. I ain't. I ain't never. I ain't never heard that one either. Especially not not in the sport that we play. Have you seen some of the linemen yeah. that are even on your team? Whatever GM said that. Have you seen some of the sides of some of the people on the O line, D line? You talk about your, the, now, the head I've heard, coach is too is physically Yeah, imposing? I've heard that huh? maybe he should lose a. You got coaches should lose a few pounds, or he should you know groom himself a little better. I've heard things like that, Come but on. physically imposing. Can the guy coach? Excuses. <laughs> Excuses. Listen, I, I thought they only did players like no. that. Well, clearly, I guess I guess not. I mean That's crazy. I thought I thought Brable, I, I think he's gonna get another chance to coach again. Yeah, he'll get another shot. Well, if if, if I'm sure he's gonna get a shot at some point. Uh, what about Bill? The question is the, the I mean, can, Ocho, Coach Belichick is in his seventies. The question is that I think general managers and, and owners are having, does his message right. still resonate with these young players when you don't have a Tom Brady in the locker room that can control everything? Right. Because guys might want to be mutiny, and Tom said, hey, guys, don't worry about that. We got this. We're going to win the game regardless. Right. So unless you have right. a Tom Brady or you have a guy the equivalent of that, say a Patrick Mahomes, mm -hmm. is mm. – yeah, kind of iffy. I always wonder if it would be even even with Belichick being in his seventies. Do you? I wonder if he can adapt to today's era, adapt to today's yes. younger kids as far as coaching style. Kind of, kind of manipulate his coaching style a little bit to fit, you know, today's kids. You know, as opposed to you know, I think some of the same some of the stuff he did during his day really wouldn't work or resonate with the young kids in today's. Today's era. I'm, I'm I'm just curious about that because it seemed like most of the coaches or most of the the decision makers yeah. are going younger. You know, as far as head coaches are, 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 are these, these, concerned, these, these young kids are different now, Ojo. And and that, I, I think for me, yeah. I am glad I did I didn't play in this era because I take it I'm, I'm too serious about it. I don't care about no cars. I don't right, care about right, no jewelry. Right. I don't care about how many chicks you got. I ain't got nothing to do with me. Can you help me win? Right. Yeah. Can, that's yeah. all I need to know. Are you meeting? Are you are you ready to play? Are you practicing hard? Are you doing what you need to do to help me win games? That's all I cared about. I didn't come. Right. I didn't come to make friends. And so that that's my thing, Ocho. I, I'm I'm very matter of fact that in, in why I'm here. And I think that's why coaches like me because there was never man, man. I wonder. I wonder if Shannon's prepared. I wonder if he's doing what he's supposed to be doing. Coaches never had to worry about that. Right. My my college coach told me right. say if I had if I had fifty Shannon Sharp because I told him he said hey he he called me too he said two you ready I said coach this was my sophomore year like like first game of my sophomore year I said coach you ain't never got to <laughs> worry about me getting ready I said get them other fifty guys ready right I'm gonna show up for you every mm -hmm. never had a problem Mike never you know hey right. Mike would always tell me go back and look up on hey eighty four get them going. That was my job. I, he let me. He let me be me. 
As far as practice, you know, I'm right. loose, Ocho. We got the Soul Train thing coming down. But, oh, <laughs> oh, you're going to do, hey, you, because here's the thing, because Mike looking at me sideways. So if you you mess up a play at walkthrough, now we going to have to stay out there longer. And so now I'm feeling some mm -hmm. type of way because I remember when you was bull right. driving shooting basketball. I remember when you was bull driving on your mm -hmm. phone. So now I got to talk to you. I right. got to have a conversation with you because you're messing up the church's money. Mm. Uh, oh, 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 That's oh, so this thing, this thing for real. Right. Like you couldn't come in Club Shay Shay. Like we had Club Shay Shay. Okay, guys could drink, guys, you know, hey, smoke. You know, we play, they play video games. We rolling dice. We playing cards. Mm. Okay, mm. normally we don't let rookies come in there. But you know, we hey, Clinton Porter, some of the guys, don't F up. Because you F up and you come back up there and slam the door in your face and put my foot in your ass. Right. <laughs> it's really, it, Ocho, it's really that simple. Man, don't know. No, right. no, no, no. Study your playbook. Hey, man, let me come up to Club Shasha. Hell no. Nah. You bust three plays today. You ain't going nowhere. You need to be in your playbook. Don't worry about Club Shay Shay. Right. Ocho, I'm about winning, Ocho. That's a privilege. Yeah, Absolutely. As long as you long as you're on point. As long as you're on point. And so, you know, we be Ocho, we used to gamble on the plane. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, you know, them boy plays. We play, the we plane. playing Blu ray. Play we playing, we playing uh uh they playing Blu ray. We rolling dice. Okay, you know, we got sponsors mm -hmm. at the front of the plane. They got to go to the bathroom. They see us. They yeah. mention something to Mike. Mike's an 80, hey, 84. Um, I, you know, I don't mind you guys gambling. Um, but if you're going right. to gamble, don't have the money out. I say, Mike, money out of sight calls a fight. I say, we might as well scrap this and wait till we get to the hotel room. Because <laughs> right. I'll be damned if y'all not right. going to talk about, okay, I owe you. I, that, no, hell no. Nah, I need to see the money on the wood. So when Mike right, said, right, 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 no right. more gambling, no, hey. No gambling. Okay. I shut it down. Hey, we ain't gambling. Now, come playoff time. Hey, Mike, you hey, you know, yeah. hey, 84, do what y'all do back there. Okay. Right. That's what right. that's what we do. That's what we do. But my thing was I was an extension of Mike. Because a lot of times, Ocho, we handle situ situations in the locker room before they got the mic. Mm -hmm. That's what leaders do. Right. You don't wait the things get out of mm -hmm. control and then you go take it to Mike. You suppress it before he has to ever hear about it. There are a lot of things that went on in that locker right, room. Right. Mike had no idea. Idea, yeah. But that's, what are your leaders crazy. for? You think you're just a leader just because that's just a, that's just a title? You got to be able to do something, right? If there's issues going on between teammates, hey, bro, what's what's that about, bro? How you mad? You married? How you mad about something? Why you mad about somebody? You married. How you mad? Right. And y'all had y'all boy, y'all were back doing like that over there, boy. I know what you're talking about. I see where you're going too, because I'm I'm eight. I'm picking up I what didn't you play put that. down. And I ain't got I I didn't have no allegiance to nobody's wife. But what I had allegiance to was that mm -hmm. locker room and was to keep the peace. That mm -hmm. was my allegiance. What you do, I if right. look, what you did. As long as it didn't interfere with the locker mm -hmm. room, I could care less, Ocho. I really could. Right. That's not my responsibility. Yeah. Your wife wasn't married to me. You wasn't married to me. So I, I don't mm. give a damn. But mm. I tell you, what you're not going to do right. is not going to interfere with what's going on right. in the locker room. So take that A. Take that issue right. somewhere else. It's really yeah. that simple. Damn, that's A. But that sounds like a good story now. You might want to go ahead and share nah, that. Nah, that nah, 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 nah